welcome back to the Slightly Daily Podcast. This is episode number 118. I have a recurring guest here, Vinny Virtuoso. Yeah, what's going on? Vinny with the orange hoodie on, you bright. The world is yours, Hair man. is growing. Yes, sir. Thriving. Yes, sir. How you um, been, bro? I've been great, man. I've been good. Uh, like we were talking about beforehand, I mean, just to catch you guys up on the, on the speed, it's been a great, long story short, it's been a wild couple weeks on top of just all the craziness of the world too. Uh, I've been busy as hell trying to recover, trying to get back on schedule, but we're here. We're back on schedule, man. We're, we're that's the this. way to be. As creators, we got to be on point, bro. Mm-hmm. No matter what life throw at us, that's kind of like the unfair part about being a creative. It's like yeah. even when you don't want to get off your ass, you got to get off you your gotta ass, You got to get boy. off your ass, man. No cap. I feel like you are one of those guys who do that and i i can just tell that whenever you post it's not like uh just for the fuck of it i can tell that you love you love music i do bro that shit is like i tell people all the time and i kind of had um it's under the post i captioned it It was like uh my last project that shit deeper than the music but in reality everything that i make everything i release is deeper than music bro Mm. and i don't know just as of late bro just turning 21 mm. and just like really taking in the world like it's told me to slow down so yeah. i'm starting to appreciate these things more especially uh the music what his message is uh yeah just like re- really i don't know the essence of like what art really is it's like mm-hmm. there's no good or bad art but it's like yeah. the craft that can be good or bad that can be judged yeah but when it come to art bro that shit is for everybody i've heard that before too like there's no such thing as uh bad music or or it, cause it's all subjective. It's yeah, for cause real. like, and I've I even talked about this in uh, a couple. I did a solo podcast where I was talking about like SoundCloud rap. Mm-hmm. Music is the only opinion based sport. Mm-hmm. Like, we were talking about right before we press uh, play, talking about Zion. Yep. Objectively, no questions asked. He's a hell of an athlete. Crazy. He's a great athlete. Mm-hmm. You know, like there's no, there's no questioning it. Somebody might think that Jay Z is a terrible rapper. Yeah. You know, I've even though, I've definitely heard that shit. Even though. It's pretty much a fact that he's a good rapper. You know what I'm saying? Like you don't even have to like rap music to yeah. know that shit. Like even though, yeah. So um, the first thing that I want to get him to uh, really is just specifically just to get the ball rolling. Is your last project Summer Nights? Uh man, you know what? I'm not even gonna kick you for it. Mm-hmm. Summer's over. It's all summer's good. Summer's over. It's sorry, all good. Sorry, it's all good. I, I promise that's you. That's a straight. Joey badass Look. project. It's summer's, summer's over, over is after uh well it's not named after mm-hmm. but it's a drake song so okay i mean people know what that is um man that shit is utterly i can say it's just like pure feeling bro mm-hmm. like i was going through a really rough patch like fuck covid fuck mm-hmm. all that shit that was yeah. happening like yeah. i was dealing with some shit like mm-hmm. anxiety i was going through a like p- pretty big breakup at the time like yeah and the shit just really I know it really shook me up just because mm-hmm. of the type of person I am. Like, I yeah. love so hard and, like, not having, you know, the stability in my own mental state. You know what I'm saying? Having to tell somebody you love them every day when you don't even know if you love yourself all the way. Boom. That's, like, a whole different challenge. So, yeah. just breaking up and, like, realizing that I'm distancing a lot from my family, mm. like, close family, family that I never think would do uh, this or that, like... I'm squashing like real like friendships and that shit kind of mm-hmm. sucked. That shit kind of blew me. Yeah. So it's I, all I can say is that that shit is pure feeling. Like it's, it's yeah. an experience. Like summer's over, basically relationships over, man. Old <laughs> money that's over. Like yeah, old business that's over, bro. You gotta start fresh, start new. So I love that you you were really vulnerable. One, with that, just you explaining oh, that. Hell yeah. Whenever you, just you explaining that, but also putting it into music too. Because I feel like that's whenever the best music comes out is whenever it's like raw feeling like, okay, you know, Drake make, made Marvin's Room because, you know, about some drunk relationship he had hell with some yeah. girl, you know, like, and it, it came out amazing. You know, there's a time and a place. Sometimes you want to be cool and be braggy and, like, turn up. You know, there's That's a time crazy. to... P- I'm telling you, it's moves for that shit. Yeah. Like, sometimes I wake up and I'm on yeah, that time. Yeah, you're like, okay, like, let's put on some little baby. You know, you know but sometimes saying? we want to hear, 
you know, put on Summer's Over, listen to you do the the soul, the whole first uh, song is like spoken word, yeah, essentially. Bro. You yeah, know, bro. Like intro, intro is definitely just just spoken word poetry, yeah. bro. Like, and and in all honesty, I feel like that's a problem that we got, like especially as artists, but not even just artists, like as people, mm. like uh, we just we just spend our time like trying to create this image uh, that they're living their best life. Like yeah. in reality, we die in our best death. So why are you trying to, you know, <laughs> that's a bar right just, there. just really put this persona out that you got it all together when yeah. you really fucking don't. Because behind that, you know, million yeah. like picture, you suffering in silence, mm-hmm. bro. So I feel like one thing we don't do in this business is like give our feelings a lot and that's why i really resonated with you know what i'm saying of course we got r&b songs that tell us how we feel but mm-hmm. like when you genuinely dive deep into somebody's perspective of how they feel and and why they feel this way like that's why x and juices deaths just like really hit me because mm-hmm. it was just like bro we were just young yeah. just trying to express ourselves yeah. but it was so many people telling us you can't do this and you can't do that and they're struggling you know what i'm saying x and juice before they had that money bro yeah you've seen the pictures the videos that yeah. they've had in high school bro they weren't they weren't millionaires yeah dog. flashy like, we, we with all diamonds, dealt yeah. with shit bro so it's like different it's like when you actually give like yourself without having that guard up bro mm-hmm. And just yeah, showing people who down. you really are, bro. I I really feel like that's that's what makes a true artist, like for real. For from the f- time that you you started making music until like your summers over era, how long did it take you to put your guard down? Would you say, bro? I ain't gonna lie, bro. That shit took a while, mm-hmm. and just because where I'm from, just just Memphis, bro, the hood. Mm-hmm. That shit just like it just in the hood anywhere, bro. It's it's almost like. You can't, and as a man, like not even, it's it's hard to you can't you can't talk about shit yeah. all the time. Yeah. Sometimes you like, just gotta I'm sad. get up. What do you mean? Yeah. yeah. It's just like, bro, if somebody come to you, bro. You good? Mm-hmm. I I do my best. Like I, it'll probably be all over my face and I'm yeah. fucked up, but I still tell you I'm straight type yeah. shit. Like Ja Ja Morant just said some shit like that. Like for real, some mm-hmm. days where I just gotta get up and get it, but I don't like want to. And yeah. you know what I'm saying? I just feel like we do such a bad job of that. Like, it's that's toxic masculinity, bro. Like, yeah. at its finest. Like, not being able to say, hey, homie, I'm not doing good. Yeah, I'm sad you know what I'm right saying, now. Bro? Like, why are you sad? You yeah. know what I'm saying? Of course, and, I ain't going to tell you to go over there and, and just tweak out over a girl that ain't treating you right and you know yeah. she over there doing something crazy. But it's okay to simp sometimes, bro. It's it's okay to feel, which it's, mm-hmm. it's always okay to feel, bro. Like, especially just, bro, the kids, like, I don't know, bro. It's crazy because we're not telling, we're telling the kids to just, you know, be a worker or Mm -hmm. keep it going. You'll be okay. Like sometimes you got to sit down and you got to feel that, that hate or that, you know, not good to have it. But, you know, you can feel anger and then release that shit. Sometimes you feel that sadness. You got to sit in that shit, bro, because it only make you better. Like the longer the rain, bro, the taller the grass grow. How... What, or why do you think that that's a thing with men specifically? Like, why do you think it's so much easier for women to be kind of like express what what's making them upset or something? Like, why do you think it's men men have to kind of just shake it off? I guess we got to be that rock, bro. Yeah, it's like you know, just if if anybody knows what this means, you know that I I I was raised around women, bro. Like mm-hmm. I'm talking about utmost respect, like yeah. You know what I'm saying? They they taught me how to be a man in many ways that I didn't even think males could. But at the same time, like, it's like they have that. A baby ain't a baby without her mama. Like, just, let's let's be honest. Yeah. Like, whenever something goes wrong, who they call first? Mama. mama. You see what I'm yeah, saying? Like, yeah, they, yeah. they they feel that crisp, bro. The, the earth is a mother in itself. Yeah. Mother so earth, it's like. Yeah. Father time, mother when you Exactly, <laughs> bro. So when you take into account that. uh there has to be that that solid like who can protect me mm. who can be tough it's it's not even like even without a family mm. bro like even without kids or without a significant other like even around our homies we have to act like that rock yeah but it's like in reality bro we don't even gotta be like that bro like yeah. it's like be be yourself bro it's too many people acting hard it, out here bro That's it's almost like dying. it's almost kind of like the um like that that millions of years of evolution instinct kind of comes out like the male was the hunter gatherer and the and the female was i mean just like we're talking about like protecting the kid making sure you know cleaning and i'm not trying to be like 
women need to get in the kitchen. But no, like, but for real. let's look at like to the root or at least what they've, you know, what science has told us. Now, it, it's the gender roles. Fuck gender roles. But mm-hmm. when it comes to like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Dynamics. That's yeah. a completely different yeah. thing. And there are dynamics for gender. Yeah. So with that being said, yeah, bro, the woman got like a huge role. But mm-hmm. at the same time, it's like a man. It's like, bro, it's like they tell you can't show emotion, bro. It's like, yeah. why the fuck not, bro? Yeah. But I don't know. I'm a, I don't know if you really just get into astrology like that. I'm yeah, a cancer, a little, bro. I'm okay. a fucking lover boy. Is that a water lie. sign? Yeah, I am okay. a water sign, bro. So I feel deep as fuck about everything, yeah, bro. Sure. I'm intuitive as shit. <laughs> like I don't, I don't just believe. You know, my sign just defines who I am. Right, right. But I do definitely think it does. There's some make interesting a general, things. Yeah. Like idea of what kind of person I am. And I ain't gonna lie. Like getting to my birth chart, bro. Like that shit really kind of hit some part. Like it showed me some childhood trauma that I ain't even know about, yeah. bro. Like and now that's helping me develop into a better person. So I really. Mm-hmm. I really think people should get into it, but that's that's besides the point. Pe- some sometimes people don't leave in uh, spells, magic, and all that other shit. But that's you know that's a whole different subject for another day, bro. Um, okay, so let's let's kind of. I want to ask you more. I, I want to know about the process of this summer's over. Like how how long did it take you kind of to birth the idea and kind of look at it and be like okay this is enough like how much how many songs did you record for it because it's it's a semi short project you know you want me to be se- real? how many how many songs is it it's uh Se- seven seven so yeah you go ahead be real with yeah you? go ahead summer's over was technically done in december, december. like writing and like production done mm-hmm. december like my thing like summer's over i really produced that damn near half the album uh no basically all the album if we being honest on vacation mm. in october of 2020 yeah 2020 okay i was in orange beach alabama bro and this shit just like really was a release for me bro mm. and i just like because that's when the breakup was bad bro like mm. i was really just I was on some simp shit. I was yeah. there when I shouldn't have been and like just going through the motions of love, yeah, bro. Everybody done been dumb at some point. But Dude, you got to learn too, man. You got to live and learn, bro. Growing. Experience is the best teacher, bro. Yes. That's, that's why I say all the time. So I like, you know, just apply that feeling and I was like, bro, I'm not just going to sit here and like sap on it, bro. Mm-hmm. Like I want to make it into something. Yeah. So I made at least two beats every day. Like, okay, uh, I didn't know you made beats too. That's bro, tight, dude. I, I've been into production since like 2019. Okay. Like, but th- like the world is yours got some of the first track, mm-hmm. like two and a half tracks I produced on there. And like, yeah. I produced them myself. But uh, it's just like, I don't know. I was like, bro, that shit, I was really fucking with it. And the writing, when you were, when you were a producer, bro, mm-hmm. you can ask Hit Boy, bro. I will damn near have just the sample or a loop of the song. And like hi hats and kicks, and I had a song done before the production. Yeah, was before done, bro. the beats done. It's so yeah, easy. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like all that shit just fell into place. Cause I like for real. One thing about me, I overthink like a motherfucker. So mm. it's like everything just stay up here, and I yeah. overthink. So it's like I didn't want to keep that shit trapped. So I was like, my one of my good homies, bro, Isaiah. I call him Sage, bro. He uh told me, bro, like whenever you like your mind just scrabble, bro, and you feel like you can't do shit. You got to release that shit in some type of way, like mm-hmm. whether that's writing that shit, not even rhyming, but just writing, just getting that shit out. Mm-hmm. So that in itself, I finished writing definitely November. So a month after I really just finished it. Um, then my homie, uh, Young Jit Cody, who I got a music video out with, man, we got a song on Apple Music, Spotify, whatever. Uh, we we got a whole we got a collab album coming. Um, That's tight. Yet I digress. That's cool that, um, that the collab album thing. I've always loved that. Like you know, Watch the Throne, bro, Drake and Con- or dude, Drake and Future. Like I've always loved that concept. That dude is a crazy fucking producer, bro. That's shout awesome. out shout out Young Jake Cody, but um, he w- he's a amazing engineer as well mm-hmm. as well as a rapper like. And, uh, so important bro, to have man. And he bro, he is like that's my brother, but like as a team member. That nigga, like, really wear the jersey, bro, yeah, and wear it well, bro. Love like, each he, other, and it's, yeah. And it's, it's love, bro. The chemistry mm-hmm. there, bro. Like, he just he just keep it a band, bro. He, like, he'll tell me, like, 
you know, if, if this shit suck or if it don't. But yeah, it's like that's so important. Bro, it's like I don't want a yes man every time. Yeah. Like, and I tell I tell him the same shit. I'm like, bro, I feel like you should do this on this beat, mm-hmm. or I feel like compared to your other shit, it's just not as it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, I don't know, bro. He just cool as hell. So he was an engineer. He engineered that entire thing, bro. Like, how'd you meet him? Bro, I met Cody through Cody. Okay, my homie. Uh, his name is Young J. Cody, okay. but I call okay. him Cody. I got you. I got you. Uh, I met him through my homie Jerry, uh, Black Jack, who I also rap with from the former group that I was involved in, Neverland. Uh, man, we we met, and they both from Chat. And when I met that nigga, it was like it was just like that. <clears throat> like we just got in the studio yeah. and we got to it. Wow. And bro, I'm talking about like the first song, bro. Like I'm talking about we was both hit. Wow, we did that, yeah. <laughs> so he really he was like, bro, whatever you need, I'm here. So he was like, come through, we could record the whole shit, bro. Wow. Like I I cut time from school and shit, yeah, just to make that shit happen, bro. And we sat there. Once he said that shit, we sat there and got that shit in probably like an accumulation of three or four days. And it's like, bro, like when I tell you it's so like it's so good having mm-hmm. a good engineer just because like it was a it was a, it's a song on that get to you. That shit is like hella Drake inspired. It sounds like a take care song. But like he was like, Okay, I see like the first day I went in and recorded, one fucking with it, one fucking with my voice. The auto tune wasn't getting me there either. So I was just like, fuck it, we gonna record it another day. This nigga went and studied take care, came back, had the auto tune fixed for me. Bro, Boom. finish that shit. Wow. Swear to God, 20 minutes, bro. Wow. It's not, bro, you have to have those type of people. Not people just sit around on their ass. Like, it's just not the move. Are you good? But um, aside from that, like, man, we wrapped that shit up, bro. He got the he got the mixing and mastering. He finished that shit in probably like a week. Does he rap too? Hell yeah, okay. bro. We got a we got a track called Who Can I Trust? That bitch on YouTube right now. You can click the link in my bio, actually. And, uh, you got that link tree, right? Most dev. Awesome. And you can you That's can a cool that little there, feature. Bro. I every artist should have that because this is this is a uh, one thing at least I noticed. Sometimes it's it's you'll find a rapper or an artist or something on Twitter or Instagram and it, it might be a little difficult to find like uh a link to their stuff and exactly. to have to be like okay here's the spotify yours is like spotify apple and then like youtube a uh, youtube use your tools yeah, bro that's use a your very tools. link tree is a very useful tool I, uh, that's a very very awesome use thing use your that, fucking tools bro because it's like it's ain't gonna lie i'm not even tapped in with all of them yet because <clears> i'm especially when it comes to promotion yeah i know my music is good but it's like i just feel like sometimes i fall on deaf ears but me too, Every man. day I'm just trying to find a, a new way to branch my shit out, bro. So, I mean, you know. Well, I'll tell you this, man. Just keep being consistent. I mean, you got a lot of cool shit going. And it's also just, like we were talking about before, the engagement thing with the polls on my Instagram. Just find a way to, I mean, you're you're active on your stories, which is a great thing. You always want to keep the stories is the only thing that's actually like chronological. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. Because like the if you I, can post something two days ago yeah, and that shit pop up on like, the timeline. I'm like, shit, yeah. What the See, fuck? Why is it a two days ago? Exactly. It's like the algorithm. I don't know, man. It's it's all data. It's shit. tuna they like. They like him. Yeah, bro. that's so, all it is. It's tuna they like him. Because like you know, as soon as Drake posts a picture, oh, it's it's the first thing we're you gonna, gonna see that shit. And then like the next one might be a day ago. You know, it might be your friend's uh, uh, picture from a day ago. You're like, what the hell's going on here? Then it's a sponsored. And then it's a sponsored ad. And then, then and it's then, the oh, there's Vinny after I scrolled for 10 minutes. like <laughs> It's like, bro, it's saying it goes to you, bro. That shit, that shit really been, the community need this shit, bro. Like, yeah. especially just, bro, even your solo joint, bro, just like. Thank you, man. Just like, damn, what Lee talking about today, bro? I appreciate that, man, dude. Just to, just to check in, tap in type shit. So, mm-hmm. I, that's, that shit connections bro use your tools yeah but um man even just all the little the little things like link tree and getting um I don't, just video video people love videos why do you mm-hmm. think tiktok is and vine was so popular it's like we love to see our brain you gotta think about like going back to like the instincts thing like our brain we love like flashy colors and like 
uh, stuff that's going to hook us in. Uh, and and yeah. if we don't like it, like, oh, why do you think if we're watching, which no one watch cables really any, cable really anymore, but whenever, as soon as uh, we're watching Wildin' Out on MTV, and then mm-hmm. as soon as that commercial comes, what do we do? We switch the channel. Yeah. Or we or get, get on, on our, our or phone. Or get on our phone. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, it's just the engagement. That's the number it's one. Like, bro, our attention span within the next five to ten years it's gonna be out the window. It's all, it's, like it's, it's already out the it's window. It's already pretty bro. bad. Yeah, but I, I knew it was gonna be bad. Like when TikTok <clears throat> came out. Like don't get me wrong. I I fuck with yeah. the fact that people are, you know, are engaging with each other more. Mm-hmm. That's what the internet is supposed to do. Mm-hmm. But it's like at the same time, it's a lot of invalid and irrelevant information on TikTok. Yeah. But it sucks people in, bro. Mm-hmm. And they they start to think whatever and start saying whatever. I'm like, bro, please have your own opinion and yeah. don't just say something that you saw like don't, five minutes ago, yeah, my nigga. Don't just regurgitate like, that's, shit. That's that's what I I just had to dip from Instagram for a minute. Like mm-hmm. I told you, yeah, bro. Yeah. Like that shit, which is healthy. It'll really really make you think, like rethink your whole line of thinking. Yeah. Like, what am I is doing? This, yeah. Is this is this what I'm supposed to wear? Mm-hmm. Is this what I'm supposed to think? Is this how much money I'm supposed to be getting, man? Fuck yeah. that shit, bro. I, do you, dude? Going going back, kind of about the men's mental health talking thing. I feel like this is another thing too with men that, like, you know how women, uh, they have like body image issues or stuff like that, where it's like, well, she's really skinny. I feel like men, kind of to a certain degree, uh, have that too because it's like, man, I wish I had that kind of fit or you yeah. know what i'm saying like right. not necessarily like oh i'm fat or skinny but like maybe i could be a little bit more i feel like even men kind of have that like body image i don't know do you know what i'm saying See, though? it's the bad like, thing is like everybody hate right but this this how women do it women like they'll <clears throat> be fake as hell with it like they'll true. they'll like be your <laughs> friend and be in your face and be fake with it yeah but niggas they like hate on the low like they ain't gonna yeah. They ain't really just going, they going, you know what I'm saying? They would definitely, you know, smile in your face for sure. You know, mm-hmm. backstabbers type shit. But no, yeah. like, n- niggas would really hate, bro. Like, but I don't understand. I'm like, bro, it's seven and a half billion <laughs> people in the world, A bro. lot of bodies. How man. come you can't have your own swag, bro? Yeah. We all, like, why would you want to do the same shit? Like, I'm mm-hmm. really... Sick of seeing the same fits on niggas, and trust me, bro, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not one of them. But that's besides the point. That I'm not one of them because you're not one of them. Like, mm. do your own shit. Like, it's everybody want to be the same, bro. Like, that's I don't know, bro. That should be driving me crazy. But yeah, uh, like I was saying about man, that who can I trust video, mm-hmm. man, my homie Mikey and uh, my homie um. My homie Kenny, bro. My homie Kenny and Mikey, bro. They shot that jump for me. Blue Media, real mm-hmm. talk. Cool. Uh, but Blue Media, like B L U E. B L L U. Yeah. Oh, okay. And then, man, we dropped that after Summer's Over came out. Summer's Over dropped on uh, Valentine's Day. Fe- okay, this February. Year. Okay. Hell yeah! And I was in Atlanta for that shit. That shit was hit. Um. Um. Have you? The the song that you did the video for was it on that on Summer's Over, or is that nah, a, a nah, solo nah. That, or a completely that separate? Jump, it's a completely different cool. song, and it's only released on YouTube. But okay, we're gonna hey. drop it on the uh, we're gonna drop it on the tape because awesome. that's, that's a song that should have been out on platforms. But <clears throat> I think the music videos are almost just as important as being a good rapper. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like just having like videos because like it's. A lot of the artists, like you were talking about with like XXX and Juice, is like we kind of bought into the image a little bit. They're like, man, he's got some. We never seen someone with half blonde, half black hair, and like a dog chain on. You Most know, or like Juice World, like with all these like crazy tattoos, wearing like punk rock stuff. Yeah, bro. it's about. It's a lot about the image as as far as in today's time. It's you know, like as this, far as artists, bro. Like art. I just, I just saw some <clears throat> not too long ago. Like Lil Uzi was, I think he was on a Vogue. <laughs> Uh, like twenty four hours with Lil Uzi. Yeah, yeah. And I, I think watched he, that he video. Went to yeah, I did. Yeah, but he was just like, that was like, so what do you, what do you wear? He was like, whenever I want to. I just whatever I want. Yeah. I just, I just buy what, what I see. I just grab and go. Yeah. He was like, bro, like, and that's what Uzi do. Like, why, why, why you want to be like the next man, bro? Mm-hmm. Like, it's so easy to come up with your own shit. Mm-hmm. Like, and it don't matter what people say about your shit. Like, mm-hmm. as long as you feel validated, that's all that matter, bro. Yeah. 
for real. And I promise they like I, they gonna hate more than they gonna respect you, but they gonna respect you at the end of the day. That's all that matter. Boom. Let's talk a little bit about performing, man. Just um, I've been doing a lot of that you, shit. Yeah, tell me about how you feel about it, and you know what else you got coming. I guess. But I perform <laughs> one. That's another key opponent, uh, component too: Vi- music videos and live performances, man. I think I performed either four or five times this year. Wow, that's awesome, dude. <laughs> uh, I performed in Memphis twice. Uh, I performed in the borough. At Riding Hour? Was it Riding Hour or Walnut House? Where was that? No, at? I was I was actually right there, uh, right next to campus type shit. Okay, like, it was in, it was in a parking lot. Oh, okay. Uh, and oh, I got yeah. a performance on the thirtieth. Uh, it's October thirty. High, High Wing. Yeah. Okay. Where's it at? It's um, it's in Nashville actually. Ooh, okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna send you the ad. A different, shit. a different little. Yeah, little pocket. yeah, bro. It's uh, I performed in Nashville before okay. with my homie Jay Logan. Uh, man, shit, he got a single coming out too. By the way, uh, Jay October first. Uh, it's called Nice Guy, man. Shoot, Shout out my nigga Jay tomorrow. Logan. Hell yeah, tomorrow, that shit yeah. dropped tonight at eleven. Cool. We on that. Uh, so yeah, how do you feel about performing though, man? Like, do you do you get like jitters, or you're kind of just like, give me the mic, bro? It's you know like, what I'm saying? There's some people who are a little bit like, uh. it's almost like I know how much I overthink about <laughs> shit. So I definitely I rehearse my shit a few times yeah. before the show, and like maybe do another sound check. But other than that, bro, I just I just try to kick shit like before yeah. the show, like smoke smoke one, yeah, like, yeah, really just loosen just vibe up, have out. fun, yeah, yeah. Because when I grab a mic, bro, I ain't gonna lie, like. I just it's it's almost like stepping in a booth, bro. Mm-hmm. It's like the world just go dark to me, Boom. bro. Like, and I just I'm feeling everything. Bro. That's it your true self. Yeah, bro. You feel? Like I I feel like that's that's yeah. when I'm at like my most my most expressive, bro. I feel like that's that's the real Vinny, no cap. Yeah. And uh, man, every performance, bro, it just get better, bro. Cause I'm seeing like more and more people pull up and like. No matter no matter where I'm at, like if I'm in Memphis, like if I'm in Nashville, if I'm in the borough, like it's like people that I know, like still coming to my shows, like then people like starting to know my lyrics and shit. And oh, I'm just that's like, awesome, damn. dude! Like so, it's like <laughs> that's a really cool. How does that make you feel? Like whenever you're you're up there and you're like, wow, you know at least just this song, bro. I I really don't. I don't. It don't matter that much to me, like. For sure, like I, it definitely be cool as hell. You know what I'm saying? To be a Lollapalooza and have everybody singing your yeah, song. Yeah, like screaming. But it's like, yeah. Think about what they doing. They singing your shit, so yeah. they mean they feeling like right. good enough to want to sing what you say. And more than likely, that song relates the, to them the, in some type well, of way. Well, it relates to them. But what I was gonna say is that song was probably incepted whenever you were alone, and you were just like one day Damn. just having a normal day, and you're like, type. Oh, let me write that in my notes because yes, like bro. You know, I, i've made music and stuff too and i've had like you know lyrics and shit that came to me when i was just in doing something random at kroger and i was like whoa that's two rhyme words bro. like i need to remember this is and it's like the experience that you get from hearing like for example nigga when i if i wake up and hear like I wonder by Kanye West, mm. I'm gonna have a good day, bro. Yeah. Like, it's it's like that shit just you know that's how I want my music to make people mm-hmm. feel. So yeah. it's like if you fuck with my shit enough to you know rap my shit with me, I feel like that shit that shit pin up to me, bro. That shit crazy, like yeah, that's cool. More show so show at the end of October. Yeah, that's neat, dude. That's like really cool because like the shows is one mm-hmm. just. You can get a lot of cool content from it. Pictures, okay. videos. Mm-hmm. And it goes back to the social media thing. You're like, yo, here's a picture, here's pictures and videos of me. And also you get to meet people. Okay. Say say there's like five, six artists on the uh lineup Bruh. and one person that came for the second artist. It's some good ass like, talent, yeah. bro. You know, like it's some good ass talent in Memphis. And even like, meeting the artist too. Oh my god. Like bro. you're like, Whoa, who if, is this guy? If, Bro, I wish that people could like would would go to open mics more, bro, mm. cause it'd be so much good talent just yeah, like sitting mics. around. But and it's not the same. Shit. Like you'll have somebody okay, he sound like Uzi or he sound like that, mm-hmm. but that's okay. Like, but then it genuinely be some people who like Unique. had a original shit, and yeah. I'd be like, damn, bro, this shit hard as fuck. Why yeah. this not on the radio? Yeah, bro? yeah, not, like I don't know, bro. They. 
I don't know why the industry want to hear the same shit for like, you know, certain points in time. Yeah. Like it's it's definitely finna be another shift in music like in the coming years because you already see a shift in. But it's like. I just hope the violence that they on, bro. Like I'm, I'm really sick you said of that violence. Shit. Yeah, bro, okay, yeah, that yeah, shit yeah. really suck, bro. For sure. Like I, like don't don't get me wrong. Like I understand some. Like I when it come to perfect example, Kendrick Lamar XXX. How he explained that shit, he was like, bro, you touch anybody that I love, bro, it's over with. Who yeah. wouldn't be like yeah, that? Yeah, for sure. But this, you know it's what I'm saying? But it's, <laughs> but it's irrelevant, like beef and like yeah over over women and like men and like. Money, bro. Mm. Images, stop it. It's yeah. not. It's, ugly. it's not righteous, bro. Like that's not cool. That's not gonna get you nowhere, bro. Mm. But in the grave or in the pen, and bro, America love the penitentiary, bro. Yeah, so too, just please, bro. It's a, it's a industry. It's a, uh, a business. Oh my you god, know? bro. Multi million dollar, probably billion dollar, if yeah. I'm not mistaken, bro. I haven't, bro. I wrote a paper on that giant. Mm-hmm. Uh, my sophomore year, and ever since then, no, my freshman year. Ever since then, I ain't really done that much research. I just, you know, pick up uh, and just look up, you know, on Complex and mm-hmm. see what they talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. But I need to do more reading on that shit, bro. I need to catch uh, up. Are you still in school? Uh, nah, man. Okay. I, I didn't drop out, bro. I yeah, yeah. No, I mean, dude, this shit happens, bro. Yeah, I just bro. wanted to ask because I know that that was kind of how... It, that was your connection to Murfreesboro, right? Yeah, was bro. Yeah. And that, like, just, man, dude, COVID shit. and then... Yeah, man. I that couldn't digital imagine. Learning. I could not imagine imagine doing that bro because i got out of there in 2018 and mm. i my i got a brother and a sister who's still i could not still in school and i could not imagine say you had five classes four of them is online or yeah, even like nah, how, last year last year it was all of them that's what i'm saying like Hell i couldn't no. do that shit like i'm a really hands-on person like i want to talk to my professor it's like, already tough enough like yeah, having bro. to to show up he don't want to open his fucking computer yeah. like why would i get online yeah and then they're shit. giving you grades and like and I the cannot. internet is right there. It's like why wouldn't I cheat? Type shit. Exactly. So you know what do you what do you actually learn, Bruh, And it's like, and I know some of the courses is like okay, I don't really need this for my major. But the, I'll tell you this, man. When it got down to the real, probably the last year and a half, my last like three semesters, when it was like actual classes that I was like pretty excited to be in, because I went to school for journalism, and like when I'd have like a a video class or like a a writing class or something. I, I didn't mind being in there. You know nah, what I'm saying? Bro, I'm saying I, like, I liked it's, it. Like, especially, bro, like, even in my fucking theater class, bro, mm-hmm. I was I was learning something, like, yeah, regardless yeah. that I was in there. Like, I definitely loved school when I was there, but, like, uh, once COVID happened and then the digital learning happened, I really ran into some financial issues, bro. Oh, yeah, man, that too. But then, On like, top I was, of that? And all that, that's when summer's over was happening. So it was mm, like, man. I was really starting to find myself and like find what i wanted to do and i'm yeah. like you know you know what i'm saying don't get me wrong being educated is is a uh, incredible feat yeah. and it's like you know what i'm saying this but i in my personal opinion i feel like grades reflect work ethic you know intelligence goes beyond beyond all that like yeah. steve jobs you know what i'm saying elon musk elon musk will tell you bro you don't have to have you can have a high school degree and be a fucking genius yeah, fool like but let's let's just be real yeah. like but I just I just really found my calling, bro. And I feel like music, bro. Man, Kurt Cobain said it best, bro. It's better to burn out than crash out, bro. And I feel like if I burn out on anything, I want it to be this music when I fucking die on my deathbed. So that means I'm, I'm do you be have doing like, shit do you, to the day I die. Do you have, like, your own kind of setup at home? Or do you? Yo, cool. I just, bro, I just That's got awesome, a fucking dude. mic in. I got to get... Uh, new monitors, new interface, bro. Like, but you're gonna do it. You, oh, oh, for yeah, sure. Yeah. Like, I didn't, I, I didn't started with this fucking mic, bro. Eight hundred dollars, bro. Ooh, a fucking, uh, I got a go, new, man. I got a Newman TL. Uh, oh, that's the good one, the silver yeah. one. Yeah, Th- hell that's yeah. like top of the line. Yeah, bro, that shit. And I ain't gonna lie, it sound fire as hell. And yeah. I just, I really wanna. Uh, um, I've tried to, like, just like I said, I started production like 2018, mm-hmm. 2019. And I re- ever since then, like I've really just tried to get more into it because I don't like being reliant upon a yeah, producer yeah, yeah. or, you know, what I'm saying a person who. But it's cool whenever I've been you have to some mix and master and shit okay. now too, bro. It's cool like, though whenever you have someone else that you can genuinely rely yeah. on because I I feel the same because even in this endeavor specifically podcasting, man, I've started with people and I mean, 
It's just me and you in this room bro. now. You feel me? And, and I know it's, it's no hard, bro. I mean, it's not easy. I've got it down now. It, bro, it took... So I've probably... I've been doing podcasting in October. It'll be two years. Mm. It took me a while, man, to learn, like, the process. Like, you know, whenever you get into the nitty-gritty of computers, like, storage and, like, file transfers and shit. Like, good. even with music, like, you sending beats back and forth. Like, the most, the most logistical way to do something like that. I had to learn how to edit videos and like all this shit. I mean, I got, but yeah, man, I just think it's, I love that. Like I said at the beginning, and I want to reiterate this because I feel like a lot of people want to just be cool rapper guy, which is neat. But if your music, if you want your music to transcend, like even just this year, you got to be real. And I, I like is I've been, I've been really thinking about this shit. Like, when it come to like male competition, like ain't gonna lie, like black men got a problem with that shit. Like every man do, but like mm-hmm. black men really got a problem with it. And it even gravitates to like rap music. And when you think about it, it's like we we're trying to see who the best MC. But don't get me wrong, it's like that's not a bad thing. Like mm-hmm. trying to be the best basketball player yeah. or the best you know Athlete, what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah I, I so see- it's it's that same race. Yeah. I like that type of competition. Yeah. So let's focus on hating. more. That yeah, you know. What I saying? know what you're saying. Like, cause like, if you're playing basketball or b- baseball, any sport, and like you're going one on one, or all right, let's just look at this from a baseball perspective. That pitcher's throwing the ball, and if you, he strikes you out, you're like, hell, all right, I'll get him next time. You know. And it's like, bro, like, don't get me wrong, bro. It's it's some people out here like who um so called man like. Calling me out, you know what I'm saying on on the low, but like I really I really want to talk about that too. Um, got this new uh, fuck it, got this new uh, album collab album coming out with homie uh, Lane. I just dropped a a video to a song that I've had out since June 2020. Damn, uh, called No Days Off. Okay, and uh, we dropped a video to that. Uh, my homegirl Emily, man, oh my god, crazy ass filmmaker, videographer, bro, photographer, like crazy for real, for real. Like we got a collab album dropping, but it's gonna be with a documentary, uh, mm. like a five series or I think like a some episode series yeah, documentary. A documentary. Uh, what what exact? Can you talk more about that? Like, can you tell me anything about it, bro? It's it's honestly we haven't. I I'll say it's just like the experience of the album like, okay so just, it's a documentary about the process of the yeah, album yeah like, it's like okay real just like that's a cool idea just, just some real shit bro like that's a really cool idea. No, like we recording in a crib like uh-huh. i'm rapping into coats type shit like we we for real just you know just just keeping it a band bro and it's, that will be an awesome thing to look back on bro it's gonna be fire bro and it's like Y'all don't even like. I've been listening to crazy Freddie Gibbs, Bodie James, Griselda, like West Side Gun, Griselda. Conway. That's Benny the Butcher, right? Oh, Benny oh. the Butcher, bro. All them, bro. Like, I've been listening to that like crazy. And they ain't gonna lie. I, I listen to a certain type of music for a while, get inspired, you know what I'm saying? But, but they just like, I want to be better than everybody, mm-hmm. like, as an MC. Yeah. I want to be better than everybody. So it's like who you know what I'm saying? I, I don't like this. You just want to make it that competition, but I I feel like, you know, there's a certain lane for everybody like, yeah. okay, I'm not finna do nothing like Lil Uzi just cuz that's not my that's not my style. Yeah, it's not. That's his own you pocket. Don't, you don't even yeah, that's his exact his own lane. Yeah, exactly. But when it comes to like spitting mm-hmm. bars, like mm-hmm. I want to be the best like MC, bro. That's, that's what my I'm, favorite type. I mean, it's my favorite type of music. I cap. I can, you know, I I know people everybody I tell this thing so I'm like corny as fuck but Logic is my favorite rapper. I I've been listening to him since I was in high school. Most dev, bro. And he's like a hip hop guy. Bro, I, it's just my lie. type of music. I, I listen to Logic probably up until um I think the cutoff for me was like Bobby Tarantino too. Mm-hmm. Didn't they come out after everybody? Uh yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That was my cutoff. Yeah. But at, before that, mm-hmm. nigga Under Pressure, I like love all of it. Under bro. Pressure is one Logic, of my favorite bro. It's one of my favorite uh, period I, pieces of music. Like if someone was like, 
Austin, you can only you're on an island with, and you can only bring five albums. I that'd be one of them for me. And that's the thing too, man. Bro. Music is like we were saying. Music is subjective. Some people might, like we were saying, some people might think Jay Z is terrible. You know, but it's Most almost do. you know. Um, okay, man. So show that's next. Projects coming. Yeah. I got, what else I you want to talk about? What else you got like going? You know, because. Man, this year has flown by. October is tomorrow. What else you got, like, end of this year, beginning of next year, man? 2022. I, what else you want to talk about? Before, I think we talked about it before, about me just getting the fuck out of the United States. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. You did talk about that. I'm going I'm to be out of here before 2025. I'll say that. Where are you going? London. Okay. But that's the motherland for uh, me. <laughs> I've never up, been, bro. dude. You know what's funny? Like I never did the twenty three and me thing. But every time I look up, like my last name, my mom, you know, my mom's maiden name, everything leads like right back to just London or just to England, bro. Like there's no like Polish or like Swedish. I loved it, bro. I'm, I'm white as hell, man. I fuck with football. <laughs> oh yeah, me too. I I just fuck with like I feel Gosh. like I'm in a London pack. is like the grandmother and. Mm-hmm. Uh, like America is like the fast ass granddaughter who just like running wild and yeah. crazy doing whatever the fuck they want to do, <laughs> not listening to nobody. Like we can do what we want. We're America. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's like, like privileged, like yeah, the, yeah. The, uh, the Harvard kid. It's like I, I fuck with I fuck with England, like because they got class, bro. Mm. But it's like it's like funny as hell. Like I even be listening to I listen to drill music like a motherfucker now. Yeah. And so it's like. <laughs> Some of the shit they be saying be proper as hell, but I'm like, that's just them type <laughs> that's funny. shit. I know exactly what you're saying. But uh, even but, so, you're, you're a Man City guy, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So sure. look, let me just vent to you real quick, oh, man. Bro. Don't break my heart, bro. <laughs> All right, listen. <laughs> so I've been following football, soccer, since I was probably about 14 years old. I picked Me- Messi was always my guy. I'm a Barcelona guy. Okay. I'm. We lost 3-0 to some shitty Portuguese team yesterday. Okay. I'm watching, you know, Messi leave. Neymar is gone. Suarez is gone. Griezmann has gone. I'm watching my favorite team. Literally. Oh, wasn't it like uh, Benfica? We lost to Benfica. <laughs> 3 mm, Yeah, bro. That was... Dude, that was all right. Ooh. I don't have a lot of... You're like one of the only people I can like talk, so, like, talk, talk soccer to. Because, yeah. you know, in America too... Yeah, people don't really... One, it's just not that popular. And two, it's hard to find anyway. Yeah, bro. So, Strange. but yeah, yeah. I just, I don't want to be like a, like I want to, I guess I want to be loyal to Barcelona because mm-hmm. like I'm a messy guy. Don't mm-hmm. get me wrong. But like, God, man, it's very, it's sad. Bro, like, like I ain't, I don't, I ain't we gonna lie, bro. Y- y'all, I don't really see. Okay, Memphis the part. We picked if, up if Memphis. They keep Memphis and, and we got Ansu. If he stay healthy, bro, I really feel like, uh, and Sergio and, and Des, Des, I feel like if they all stay healthy, bro, and and bring some other like legendary player, and we, well, into the we mix. have Frankie De Jong too, who's very good. Yeah, PK's Luke a legend. Dion, yeah, you know, PK, bro, it's just and Busquets, but like these are guys who are. Who were always? I mean, they're def- defenders too. You got to so. realize, Messi been backpacking them niggas for like the last ten years, bro. dude. And I mean, what what hurts me the most about that, like, okay, the Neymar thing, I get it. He he wanted more, he wanted money, more money, and we want to yeah. keep Messi. But the Suarez thing, that was dude, that was messed up, bro. We, did you see? He went to Atletico, and then they and, won, and, and they they, they, they won. <laughs> Bro, they ticked off, bro. They was like, yeah, at this point in time, I'm finna do my thing since y'all didn't think I was doing my and thing. And then they then they won the La Liga. Man, I just had to vent a little bit because I'm at a crossroad. I don't know if I should just be loyal and suck it up and just be a Barca fan. or Be loyal, like, bro. Because <laughs> I, I ain't gonna lie. City is talking about getting rid of Sterling, bro. And that's mm-hmm. one of the main yeah, reasons yeah. why. Like, just, yeah. bro, it's like Sterling, De Bruyne. Mares, yeah. like Walker, like Edison, they all got me like attached. I thought Bernardo Me- Silva. I thought Messi was gonna go to City too, bro. Because he was, it was, it, it was, was Paris it and was City. So close, bro. Like, I he, saw that and I was like, I, I, I. He knew he would definitely win with PSG though. Exactly. Like, Sergio Ramos, bro. Bro, Ramos, Killian, Neymar, D- and uh, uh, Di Maria. Um, Hakimi. Dude, what? They just, bro. Dude, I literally, if you went on, I bet on FIFA 22, I literally bet. This is an announcement. <laughs> if you play 
FIFA 22 with PSG. I'm, yeah, you're a bitch. You're trash. Who do you think you're is, a bitch. Who do you think is the most OP team? That Warriors squad with KD or this PSG team? This PSG team, but 21 and 20? No, it I'm was talk- Liverpool. Oh, no, but I'm talking about... 22? Like... uh. uh 2K or or just okay. so so 2K with with KD on the Warriors right or this PSG team I think it's gonna be this PSG team bro. dude I don't like, I really don't think people understand how OP like they don't lack in any area type shit oh like they're still mushing but they still beat uh Chelsea bro they still shut them out too and like Messi dude it's that's soccer you in, shouldn't be able to. That's one of those things. Soccer, they have enough money to where they yeah. can do anything. That would never happen in the NBA. That's like lining up. Okay, the Warriors, they they got close. They got very close. Though, if you would have threw like Russell Westbrook, Nikola Jokic yeah. or something if like you, in the mix, like a then straight the Warriors, up, fuck no, like a straight up like all five players, <laughs> yeah, just comp- everybody making the the All Star team. No, nah, I mean PSG. Yeah, nah. How are y'all doing in Champions League? Bro, champion, we just lost to PSG. Okay, well, it was like one zero. Like uh, or was it three zero? I think it was. Nah, it was either two or three, bro. Yeah. Uh, but we beat Chelsea. Okay. Before that, That's and uh, we played. How are y'all Liverpool. doing in Premier League though? I think we play Liverpool. We, we're doing pretty good. I think we like number two or three, and I think we play Liverpool either okay. today or tomorrow. Yeah, Liverpool. They no they, Sunday. Liverpool was op as fuck. Liverpool on um, FIFA the, twenty and twenty one. Yeah. Was just like no Gosh. for no reason, bro. Like. What I'm just well, Frankie. All right, so you know how Frankie's like or Deong, he's like a midfielder. He's not supposed to be shooting, dude. Bro. He he. I've been I've watched the last two games. He is literally our striker right now because like no one like Memphis is good, but like he's had like some injuries and stuff, and like he's yeah. everyone is it like like he's been playing a wing more to me. Frankie, no, nah, or, or Memphis, yeah, yeah. But I'm just saying, like, dude. These people are strangers playing with each other. Yeah, you know, bro. Frankie's been there for a while, and like he's always he's been our dog, like on in the midfield and defense. But like he's they not sp- have time to get their chemistry together. Dude, bro. he's not supposed to be shooting the ball, Mm-mm. you know. And he's like in the box, he's like supposed to be passing, exactly. Bro. He's supposed to be playing a little D and getting it out, no, getting it real. up, because he used to be able to just be like, "Here you go, Messi," and then you Messi know what would- saying? like he'd take over. And I mean, I just had to rant about Barca, man, because I'm. Man, it's Messi, not looking. Messi scored a goal against us. I his know. first goal against I us. No man, bro. And it was. I was oh. like, bro, it's over with. It's, oh man, it's over. With. I hate that. I don't know. I love Messi though. I just don't want to. Oh. I just hope. I hope we can. I don't know who. I don't think we're gonna make any more transactions this year. I think we are about to fire our coach, which no, I think. So yeah, that's dude. That sucks, though. Benfica, bro. That's a Portuguese team, right? That's like yeah. Belgium. That's like yeah. mid tier. Yeah, I saw that yeah. and I bet on it too. I was like. This is a bounce back game. I was like, we we can at least squeak a one oh two one out. We lost big three nil, bro. Dude, I saw the score because like I was watching it. I, I I just had it on like my radio at work, and I was like, okay, one oh. It was like one oh three minutes in. I was like, okay, maybe we can tie it up. <laughs> and then they just kept. We did not. I don't think we had like a single like quality shot y'all didn't y'all didn't have any shots on target like nothing we were in the that box and just couldn't uh and you know, i'm just gonna ride it out man maybe we maybe i don't know maybe maybe ansu can just be the next messi or something i always liked him because he's just young as fuck bro bruh. i think he's just now 18 They're, like bruh. 19 who ansu yeah he just turned 17 yeah bro. he's 17 that's crazy. young as hell and he played with us last year bro jew bellingham just turned 18 bro you know, for Dortmund? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, he just... Dortmund bro. saw... I, I've always been... I liked watching Holland uh, yeah, go bro, from Leipzig. Dude, uh, dude, that... Um, He was on Leipzig. Uh, mm-hmm. That... What, is that German? It's like Be- a Belgian team or some mm-hmm. shit. They're always pretty good, but like, dude, he was literally... He scored Killing. like five, six, seven goals in like three games. Like, he was going off. Damn. Went on this crazy streak, and then Barisha just picked him up. Dortmund just picked him up. Damn, bro. Cause the money, man. Money talks, bro. You ain't lying. But uh, all right. Other than um, other than that, for the year, I really uh, I really haven't told a lot of people this shit, but I've been writing uh short films. Oh okay. And I wrote I wrote one. I didn't shoot to it uh, just cause shit didn't go as planned. Didn't have like the right tools at the time. Yeah. But I'm I'm. In the process of writing one now. That's a cool idea, dude. Uh, I want to be at least halfway done, if not finished with it, by the end of the year. 
Uh, hey, if you need like, a, if you need an extra, I got you, man. Oh, for sure, bro. I, and you know what? Now that you said that, <laughs> for now, real. Now you're you're casted, bro. I, I have this kind of running loose bucket list mm. where one, I want to write a book before I die. Even if it's just like a children's book, I just want to write a book. I want to write a, a novel. I want to be an extra or something in like a movie or a commercial mm. or something, and I want to like learn how to be like a DJ. You're casted, bro. Awesome. No doubt. <laughs> I fuck with every single breath because it's like, I, I do have like one of those. You know, just like a li- like I'm always yeah. just like, I'm, before I die, I'm only 25, but like I still got some years to I get I want to release a poem book eventually, bro. Yeah. Like I want, yeah, yeah. You I know? definitely, bro. That was Logic important. wrote a, a novel and that's kind of what really. Supermarket. Yeah. I, I bought it. I read it. It was cool. I mean, he's supposed to be making a movie to it too, which I mean, I don't know when, if or when it'll ever come out, but Vinny, man, this was awesome. You live across the street from me, man. I I think I'm gonna buy FIFA. We bro, really do need to get up on that. Got to tap in, bro. Um, do you have anything else you want to say, bro? We're damn, we're at damn near an hour. Yeah, that's, man. That's how I usually go, though. Um, yeah, bro. Vinny Virtuoso, whole lot of shit coming, man. It's, you'll know. You'll know when it's coming. I will definitely do what I can. I don't have a large following, but I'll try, man. Sooner than you think, bro. Real talk, bro. New music on the way, man. Videos, all that jazz. Yes, Show sir. at the end of the month. That's like... And, uh, and probably probably a few more before yeah, the year's over. But That's awesome, dude. Time will tell. Vinny, episode 118. Thank you so much, man.